All right, guys, we got another iPod Touch 7th generation video for you all today. Today, we're going to be seeing how it does with games. So chances are, if you're buying this iPod, you are probably going to want to play some games on it. So I have installed some of the latest and greatest games that we have available today on the App Store. So Survivor I.O., is number one right now. We got Subway Server, Minecraft, PUBG, Pac-Man, Among Us. We have all sorts of games here. So we're gonna dive into each one of these. I have not opened any of these games yet. I've actually just literally installed them a few moments ago. And I wanna tell you something kind of funny about just installing uh, these games. So while installing these games, this iPod got really hot. I mean, it is really, really warm to the touch. And also, I took this thing off the charger right before I started installing these games, and the battery is now down to 76%. For some reason, the 7th gen iPod Touch has a worse battery than my 4th gen. My 4th gen I, does not die as fast as this thing does. I don't know. It's really bizarre. This is probably one of the worst batteries I've seen on an Apple device. But anyways, we're gonna be diving into these games. So I've actually never played Survivor IO before, but let's give it a shot. And we'll turn up the volume. I might have to turn my ringer on, but this kind of gives you an idea of how long it takes games to load up. So I have no idea actually what this game's even about, but we're just gonna kinda hop right into it. I think I need to turn on my sound. There we go. So it Okay. So the speakers are obviously not great. Um, and of course, we only have the bottom speakers. This is really kind of an interesting game, huh? As far as graphics go, it looks pretty good. As far as smoothness, I mean, we're not really lagging that bad at all. I guess the whole point of this game is just move around. I don't know what this game's for. I, I really don't. Like I said, I was just downloading games. But hey, I might have to play this one a little more often. It's kind of interesting. Well, yeah, graphics look smooth. We're not really getting any lagging. I mean, we got some explosions and things happening like that. Yeah, so not bad. Not bad performance there. Let's go ahead and hop into the next game, which is Subway Surfer. So one theme I feel like we're going to see throughout is, you know, your loading times might be a little bit longer than like a brand new iPhone or something like that. My age. I'm 48. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Don't track me. Why do they need to track me? Oh, man. But I think, like I said, the theme we're going to see is graphics are really not that bad which is surprising. You would think with the A10 chip, okay, I'm seeing a little bit of lagging in Subway Surfer right now, but it's not terrible. I mean, it's still totally playable. Yeah, so you see that little bit of lag right there. But the graphics, whoops, you can tell I ain't played this in a while. <laughs> Graphics are really good. It's actually pretty surprising. It's just weird how this thing like overheats when you're downloading applications. Ooh. But yeah, Subway Surfer seems to be handling this just fine. Okay. Let's go into some Minecraft. Everybody loves some Minecraft. I'll never forget, this is one of the first apps that I purchased. Yeah. And I think this app was like, oh, it was, uh, 
Man, I can't remember how much this cost. It was like six dollars or something. Why does Minecraft need to find local devices? All right, we're not signing in right now. Let's just play. We'll go into a new world. Survival's fine. Whatever settings we got, it's fine, I'm sure. Okay. I didn't even tap anything, but whatever. Let's see how long it takes to build a world. Oops. Okay, create. Let's create the world. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Minecraft is just one of those just legendary games. Okay, we're struggling building the world. It's froze. You see that? Oh, no. There we go. A little bit of loading. I haven't built a world in a while on my iPhone 13, so I'm not sure if this is good or bad. Okay, we're here. All right. So, obviously moving around is pretty quick. I've already lost half a heart. Yeah, so not bad. I mean, Minecraft is not really, I guess you could say, a graphic intensive game. So, ooh, whoa, a little bit of lag right there. Okay, that's interesting. So we got a little bit of lag, chopping a tree, punching a tree down. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. A little bit of lag there. Let's try PUBG. I hope we don't have to play like an online game because I can tell you right now, I'm probably no count at this game right here. This is a little bit more of a larger game to load. I think this is like a two, almost over two gigabyte game uh, to download. So Let's see how long this takes here. Obviously, we're going to go through some of the first-time startup things, but still, this is already taking a little bit to load. No notifications. Don't track me. No local networks. Okay. Of course, it's going to update. So this is obviously... I don't know if that music is copyright. So this is obviously a more graphic intensive game. So you can kind of see the frame rate and things like that. Okay, our update, and it crashed. <laughs> or maybe that's just part of the update process, I don't know. We'll, we'll say that was just part of the update process. Um, yeah, let's, let's hope that's what that was. But now that we got those questions answered, let's see what the loading time's like now. Okay. All right. We'll accept all those. Oh, yeah. You have to sign into PUBG. Well, nah, we ain't going to sign in enough and just forget that then. Okay. Uh, let's go to something a little more simple. How about some Pac-Man? Again, I'm trying to find like a wide variety of games, you know, like more graphic intensive things, more calm things. Um, so... Yeah, and I don't know if I'm going to actually get to all these games today because you guys kind of get the gist at this point. Um, but, yeah, let's see what Pac-Man looks like. Oh, every app. I'm about to go into my settings and fix that. I'm tired of them asking me, do you want to be tracked? No, I don't. Okay. Obviously, Pac-Man doesn't have a problem. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm showing you guys that. Um, let's see. Okay, Asphalt 8 should definitely be a little more intensive graphics here to test out. So let's see um, what it looks like actually here. Okay, so downloading our data. Probably an update or something that needs to be done. Hopefully it throws us into a tutorial or something like that so we can quickly get in there and take a look. 
A little bit of lagging going on. We're gonna turn that down. Why does everybody wanna know our age? I don't understand, okay? I don't get it. Okay. Um, we don't play. Sure. Nissan, that's cool. Oh, uh, man, okay. They make some of these games really complicated. Yes, I would love to learn to drive. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a little more graphics for us here. But we should get a good idea. <sighs> okay. You can already see some lagging going on. Asphalt 8 is a game that takes advantage of a lot of the new graphics capabilities on newer devices. So, yeah. Okay, is there any music? Okay. Now there's some music. So obviously you tilt to steer. Yeah, see we're going pretty fast. Although the graphics are not terrible. They're not bad. Okay, it's I'm literally holding down the brake. Okay. So yeah, pretty smooth looking. We have the rain obviously like hitting the window. Ooh, okay. It's been a while since I've played this game. Again, graphics aren't terrible. I mean, they're not bad. Okay. Uh, let's see. Which What's another good game to play here? I think we're just going to finish it off maybe with some Geometry Dash. Okay. Let's try this. <laughs> this is one addicting game right here. And this is also the game where you don't need lagging. Okay, that was terrible, you guys. Yeah, this is definitely something where you don't want to lag. And it looks like we're going pretty smooth at the moment. Sorry, I'm just focused right now. Yeah. Anyways. Guys, I think that kind of sums it up here. Um, you know what? Hold on. Let's try Roblox and Among Us, and then we'll, we'll be done. I promise. Unless I have to sign... Oh, man, I gotta sign in. Okay. How about Among Us? Do I have to sign in for that? Surely I don't. Is this still a popular game? Is this still what everybody's playing right now? Okay, never mind. Among Us wanted me to sign in too. But anyways, guys, I think you get the point. Okay, so your iPod Touch, your battery, if you're gaming a lot, is going to go down pretty quickly. Just keep that in mind. Um, but overall, no matter what game you're going to play, I feel like you're going to be fine. I mean, the graphics are still totally fine. There's just a little bit of lagging here and there that goes on but it's nothing unbearable. It doesn't really affect your gameplay experience. Obviously, sometimes lagging can really affect your gameplay, but it's not going to mess you up that bad. Another thing you want to keep in mind is if you have like a 32 gig iPod Touch, you're going to want to keep storage space in mind. So if you take a look, we have basically maxed out the storage on this iPod. Okay, 27 of 32 gigs used. And guys, that's just from downloading what? You know, this many games? 13 games, it looks like. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 games. And I deleted some of the bigger default Apple apps. So yeah, your storage space can get eat up pretty quickly to games as well. But overall, like I said, gaming on your iPod Touch should not be a problem as long as you don't have a bunch of games you should be good to go. Graphics are totally usable. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today in this video. I thank you all for watching so much, and I will catch you all in the next one.